Okay, everybody, gather around. Bring it in. Welcome to the Sanibel Stoop 101. I call this boot camp for the Sanibel Stoop. To understand the Sanibel Stoop, we must understand the history of Sanibel Island. 2,500 years ago, this island was inhabited by the Calusa Indians, and the Calusa Indians actually invented the Sanibel Stoop. They inscribed the directions on this coconut 2,500 years ago, and this has been under lock and key at the Sanibel Shell Museum. Before we get into the mechanics of the Sanibel Stoop, we need to talk about tools of the trade. To get started out here, everyone must be wearing sunblock. Does everyone have sunblock on? The next item you need is a bag to collect all your shells. So now we're ready to get to work. This is the critical part of the Sanibel Stoop. The first thing you must do is locate the shell you're going after. There's a shell right here. So I will stand over it, my feet about two feet apart from each other. Next, I need to bend down and reach for the shell. While you bend down, people, your butt must be in the air. Stick your butt up in the air as you bend down. If you are too modest to have your butt up in the air doing the Sanibel Stoop, this sport is not for you. This is the most important part. Pick up the shell. I repeat, pick up the shell. Congratulations, you have officially done the Sanibel Stoop. We're trying to do the world's record, the Guinness Book of Records for the Sanibel Stoop on February 17th. It's going to be the precursor for a week-long celebration. Over a thousand people are going to break the record of picking up shells on Sanibel Island. Anyone can be involved. Just show up at Bowman's Beach, 10 o'clock in the morning on February 17th, and we'll sign you up, we'll get you notarized, and you can be part of the Guinness Book of Records.